my name is Juana Alicia. I'm a muralist, painter, printmaker, sculptor. I live in both the Bay Area and Merida, Yucatan, Mexico. I began painting murals in the Mission in 1983. The director at the time of the Mural Resource Center, a man named James Kuromiya, approached me saying that the Mime Troupe uh, Theater Company was interested in having a mural done on a facade, and was I interested. And the mural was intended to be for the Mission community as well as for the Mime Troupe. The piece that I designed, I did in tandem with the neighbors in the community and with representative team of two people from the Mime Troupe. When I painted originally in 1984 and 85, I painted it in nine months and I painted it by myself. But this time, um, after 40 years of teaching, I have accrued quite a wonderful circle of younger artists. I was just so honored and excited that they could join me in that process of restoring the mural. When I painted the mural 38 years ago, um, we didn't have the same kinds of techniques. Now we have materials that can ensure the mural and its color can last up to 100 years. Many of the people in the audience still live next door to the mural or across the street. And I gave them the choice of either being portrayed at the age I portrayed them or 38 years later. After I finished the mural, um, the Friends of the Urban Forest decided to plant giant invasive ficus trees in front of the mural without consulting me or without my knowledge. And the city will not permit major branches to be cut. And we're currently in the process of trying to appeal that and plant something else there that doesn't block the view. First of all, the fact that Juan Alicia who is an iconic muralist, is doing murals and restoring many of the murals that she has done. We should be very happy and proud and welcoming of that effort. The ficus trees, we've always had an issue, not just on Treat Street where this uh, mural is located. Uh, and by the way, the people who planted the ficus trees didn't ask the community if that's what they need. Now through a lot of our own research here on 24th, especially as part of the Latino Cultural District, uh, ficus trees don't work on 24th Street, and that's why um, there have been a lot of ficus trees. I believe there were 33 that were were actually uprooted, and 130 other uh, trees were planted, not necessarily in front of the murals, but in other parts of the cultural district. So there was a way to get uh, a tree that wasn't really serving our community well, um, and be creative and find another way to be able to provide greenery to our streets. Ficus trees don't belong on narrow streets. They don't belong there. It was proven on 24th Street. It just doesn't have the span for that tight urban space. Ficus trees shouldn't be on, in the mission. They should be more in outdoor space because what happens if the city doesn't cut people, it starts tearing up the sidewalk, it eventually falls. You know, uh, they're not stable just because they're not watered or kept after. Those trees are not an appropriate tree to be planted on a neighborhood street. I look at this uh, picture of the mural and the trees in front of it and and it's like a, mi a, a mix of emotions, you know, because it's on one hand, a lot of us are environmentalists, you know, before the word environmentalist. And so I really feel that the, the disconnect that exists between oftentimes the planners from the city department or whether it be Department of Public Works or the city planning department, is that there's no real, you know, thoughtful planning that goes on to really look at, like what we have here, a beautiful mural and these trees that are blocking murals. The murals in the Mission District, it, they mean a lot to us. They're not just art, but they actually tell our history um, and they inspire us and they tell us where we need to go because we'll, we have a great example of where we've been. And so a lot of people come and say, oh, isn't that nice? But they don't understand the complexity and the deep meaning of our murals because they are part of 
who we are. So they reflect us as a people and as a community. And that's why we do the murals. And so the idea of wanting to cover um, any mural um, is ridiculous because then what you're trying to do is erase our history and our culture. And um, that's just not gonna happen. During the 1970s and 80s, the, there was a large migration of folks from Central America. And many of our murals depict that struggle. And um, you'll see images of Monsignor Oscar Romero. You'll see images of people, um, you know, having to flee from wars. Uh, but you also see uh, community members that are thriving, that are doing well, that are actually part of the community. So you have the Carnival mural on 24th in South Venice. Um, that's a wonderful depiction of who we are as a community that celebrates all the Americas. And so for us, the murals are very important. So it's not the fact that we don't want the trees or don't want greenery uh, in the cultural district. Just don't cover our history. Don't cover who we are. Not a question of whether we love trees or not. We love the trees. But planting trees in front of cultural monuments that are part of the people's history is a very disturbing idea. People with, who are smart and uh, come together and say, okay, well then what can we do instead? And maybe plant some uh, trees uh, in other parts of the cultural district. So I would say, you know, this, this, these two trees are, need to go. Uh, they're blocking an incredible mural and let's find another place for them to be able to uh, have some more greenery uh, within the, the cultural district. So it's a real simple solution. It's just moving them. And then, but at the same time, also planning, you know, smaller, you know, yerbas and flores that will complement the mural. Well, I, I think what we need to do is speak truth to power. Um, you have probably a very small group of people that are fighting to demand to have those ficus trees there in front of that mural. Um, but they don't take into account the rest of us. Those folks probably don't even live in the mission. And um, because they want to be righteous about their, their desire to make San Francisco a green city, that they want to basically bypass and roll over um, have you know roll over over us here in the mission and we can't do that and so we're relying on people um, to help us in this fight to help us in this struggle to not erase our history and like I said if you get smart people that are passionate to come together to actually have a conversation and listen to one another I, I think we'll be able to find a resolution to this problem. For me it was important to restore Para Las Rosas because it's a good work of art, and it's important to the people that live around it who are portrayed in it. And it's important to the mime troupe because it portrays their history. And I don't like to see my work or any other muralist's work die on the street. My idea is of having a very green city, a very walkable city, and a city that is covered with murals. Para mí la, la eh, arte eh, nos da vida la, y la arte eh, simplemente preserva nuestra historia y lo importante de arte es que es parte de nuestra cultura y la cultura cura.